In this video, I'm going to show you one new feature in Adobe Photoshop that can dramatically improve your photos. So many of you know me for my Adobe Captivate tutorials, but obviously I do other things besides develop e-learning. I've got to prepare my images for use in Adobe Captivate, and for that I use Adobe Photoshop. So I'm always very excited when I discover a new feature, especially one that's so super easy to use like this one. So as you can see on my screen here, I've got this landscape photo. Maybe I'm using it for e-learning. And it's okay, like it's quite a nice photograph. The original photographer is obviously quite talented. But, you know, just like all of us, we're subjected to maybe whatever happens to be in the sky that day, and obviously not very much. It's kind of a boring sky. And it'd be kind of nice if I could do something a little more dramatic with it. So now there's this really cool feature that you can find in the Edit drop-down menu in Photoshop called Sky Replacement. And when you select this, this little window will appear called Sky Replacement, and it will show you, of course, the ability to select alternate skies. As you can see here, I can go through the list and find something that might be a little bit more dramatic or more appropriate for this image. Um, I like the idea of using, you know, a sunset or a sunrise, so maybe something like the one that, that showed up initially there. And once you've made a selection, you've got some controls that allow you to modify that. So you can choose shift edge and adjust that number to, you know, adjust the, the edge between your original photo and of course the replacement sky here. So it can maybe be a little bit more realistic if you keep some of the blue there. The fade edge, of course, uh, you can make it a little bit more dramatic. You want to choose again something that's a little bit more realistic of course you have brightness control so on a daylight shot like this you might want to increase the brightness so that it's a little bit more believable to be in this photo and you can make the color temperature a little bit warmer or maybe a little bit more towards the blue spectrum also scale too because you might have a, a background sky that's just not believable as far as distance is concerned and again you can just use this for the randomness of it as well so once you're you're happy with the adjustments that you've made like i'm going to bump up this shift edge so that the trees uh, kind of blend properly and uh, you can do a number of different things you can flip it around i kind of like it the way it was before and once you're you're happy with this you can output to new layers and click OK and it's going to create all the appropriate additional layers and uh, masks appropriate for your image there. And then you can export this as a JPEG and then import it into whatever other software you're using. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.